Fish 107.5. My name is Alice, and I don't know about you, but I'm very proud to admit that I am a big boy band fan. Whether you admit it or not, I know you have a soft spot for them too, and not just the ones of today, but those of the 90s as well. So if you're a boy band fan like me, then you would be familiar with the British-Norwegian boy band A1. And today, we will be joined by one of the members. We have... Christian Ingebrigtsen. First up, my name is Alice. I am a really big A1 fan. And um, when I found out that I was going to interview you today, I sort of was fangirling on the inside. But then, of course, we have to be professional. So I'm like, nah, it's no big deal whatsoever. Anyway, so how would you describe um, this new album of yours? Will it be quite nostalgic for other A1 fans like myself? Well, you know, we still have A1 concerts every now and then. And this summer, we've done uh, quite a few in the UK. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, besides that, you know, I'm, we all have studios and we write and produce music uh, both for others and for ourselves. And um, here in Norway, I, I um, do quite a lot of concerts as a solo artist as well. Mm-hmm. So touring, always doing stuff. I do a little bit of acting. I do dubbing for Disney movies into Norwegians. I actually was searching about that and then I saw there that you voiced Flynn Rider. That's right. I'm Flynn Rider in a way. Yeah. You also did some musicals. Yeah, I did Le Mis uh, over here in the Norwegian West End. I was Marius. Mm-hmm. Uh, did 98 shows with that, and uh, so I do all kinds of stuff. And I'm, you know, I. But mainly, it's the songwriting that that's you know closest to my heart, and, and that's why you know I I had to release this album with all those songs over the last 10 years that I've written that are more personal to me that I haven't you know, released anywhere else or, or didn't quite fit in with the A1 format. So I'm um, really proud and happy to finally have a, have all these songs out there for people to hear. Um, well, let me just say this first, with A1, we're, we're very diverse musically, what we listen to and our influences. So when we write stuff together, it becomes like a symbiosis of, of all of us. But there are songs that we write individually that don't quite fit in. Uh, but they still have elements of all of us, you know, within the A1. So, like, for instance, I've always been a big ballad writer. You know, I love mm-hmm. the a lot of the songs that I know have been hits in the Philippines, like Walking in the Rain. Of and course, every time. those are staples. I always get requests for those. Well, those are very me. I mean, I love that kind of music. And so I, I, I feel that my, my own personal... Uh, musical preferences are very much in line with with our fa- Filipino fans' musical uh, influences. So, so, so in that that sense, I think there are quite a few songs on this album that might, um, you know, um, fit in with what 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 the, you listen to out there. Songs like um, the single "Break Me," mm-hmm. and uh, uh, and there's a song called "Be Strong," which which I believe might connect with our fans as well. And but you know, I I write all kinds of diverse uh, songs. Um, but I think the the one of the things that the elements that are similar to what A1 did is that the melody is in focus. Mm-hmm. We like the strong melody and the strong lyric, so that if you write, if you play it with just a guitar or just a piano, it you would know, work it gets, as well. Yeah. How different will it be? You know, what is something that will surprise us? What's different from this new album compared to? All the other things you were able to put out. Well, this is a very organic album, so because I'm I'm very much influenced by the the country music, like you know your Garth Brooks and your Rascal Flats, and you know I like like that kind of sound. So it's got sort of country elements to it, with the fact that you know it's all very organic, all all live musicians, mm-hmm. and on. But there's also like on Break Me, uh, it, it kind of brings into my classical background. You know, I, I studied classical piano and. And I played the violin for for a while when I was younger. My grandfather was a violinist for the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. You know, my my love for film music and classical music has brought me to write, you know, Break Me, a song which has sort of certain cinematic elements to it. You know, uh, it kind of, I wanted it to sound like a movie soundtrack. Uh, Ooh, in that's there. so interesting. You know, yeah. your songs before were already the soundtracks of their lives. And now you're really tapping into that and putting it into your songs. That's really interesting. Uh, oh, I'm really yeah. excited to hear this new album, and I bet lots of your fans are as well. So, um, where can they grab a copy of the album? Well, it's already out. You know, it's 
on all the digital pra- platforms like your Spotify mm-hmm. or, or iTunes and Apple Music. You can find it there. The album is called Got To Be. And um, uh, it's under my name, Christian Ingebrigtsen. So, um, uh, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's also possible to get a physical copy. I know that it will be available within a few weeks um, physically in the Philippines mm-hmm. as well. If you can't wait that long, you can go to my website, christiansofficial.com. And, um, and there's a link there where you can order it from Norway as well. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and it's not all old school, you know, not a lot of artists release albums anymore. It's um, because it's, you know, financially not the way forward anymore. You, you want streaming on one song and, uh, and everyone's out for that hit. But because of that, you know, I'm kind of nostalgic. I love the old school way of doing this. I wanted to of release course. an album. You can even order it on vinyl. That's so cool. We actually have turntables and I have like a collection of vinyls lying around right here. It's still so beautiful. Do you, you yeah. know, has it been a dream of yours to release your album in like vinyl form? That would be awesome. Some people still do that, right? Yeah, because because my dad, you know, I grew up with my dad. He's a big pop star here in Norway, mm-hmm. and I grew up with all his vinyl hanging on the wall. And so that's why I made vinyls for this album. So it is available as well. That's so cool. I bet lots of fans will, you know, really want to hear it from you. Well, I really want to come over and play these songs live as well uh, in the Philippines. And you know what? Next year, A1, uh, we have our 20th anniversary as a band. And so we have some plans. Uh, hint, hint, you know, nudge, in- nudge. We'll be waiting for oh, that. Yeah. And so when we come over, of course, hopefully I'll be able to, to play a couple of my songs from this album as well. But I'm also hoping to come over just with this album at one point. You know, that would be a big dream of mine to play these songs. And, you know, the, I, one of the best things for me as a songwriter is if, if uh, you know, songs that started out in my, my little head over here, mm-hmm. Um, these melodies and these lyrics, uh, if someone knows them on the other side of the planet. It would give you a different feeling when people actually sing along to it. Success criteria change as you get older. Um, and before, you know, maybe success was, was more measured in how many people bought the album or how many people came to the concerts. Now, it really has changed. I mean, for me, the biggest success criteria I mean the biggest dream for me is if the music that I write somehow has a meaning in someone's lives I mean and, and I already get messages on social media from the Philippines and people saying that uh, some of my songs have meant a lot to them um, and that's the that's the biggest success I can have and that you know my my motto in life is if I can leave this world a little bit of a better place than it would have been if I wasn't here then I've succeeded and, and, and that's what I'm hoping to do with this music I, I, the, the album is not you know trying to to, to to catch on to what's happening right now you know with the, the sound and the, the, the music scene it's just the songs that come from the bottom of my heart and hopefully they can mean something to other people as well your passion is so apparent in what you just said and I was just nodding along because there's really nothing to add to it anymore you were so into it and I bet you would want our wishers and our Filipino um, how do you call A1 fans A1 fans to get a copy of it so they definitely got to get a copy of this so can you invite them once again to um, get the album or follow you on social media for more updates yeah, well, I just want to say thank you uh, to Wish 107.5 for having me on your show and for you, Alice. Um, it's great to be there, and, and thank you for playing my songs. And, and I just want to say to all our fans out there, A1 fans, um, thank you for being there with us on this journey for so many years, almost 20 years now. And I'm so proud and happy to share some of my innermost personal music with you please check it out if you can on spotify or itunes or anywhere the album's called got to be and the single's called break me um and uh yeah follow me on on social media my website is called christiansofficial.com and um there you'll find all the links to the facebook and the instagrams and stuff and and um yeah because there's a lot more music coming soon and and also, um, there's more from A1 as well coming pretty soon. So. And you guys are coming very soon to the Philippines, crossed fingers, hopefully. So one last question, this trademark question is, what is your wish? Well, my wish is for this album, these songs, to uh, mean something to you who's listening right now. If, if one of these songs 
can make a difference in your life um, somehow, uh, just make you feel good or, or you know, make you make your life a little bit better than it than if it wasn't there. Then, then that's my 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 dream come true. Thank you so much for your time, and you probably got to be talking to another person. And I hope to see you when uh, when we come over. Yes, please, please do guest on Wish. We would love to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.